Here we have another video from Mean and Transmissions. Uh, transmission we're discussing here today is uh, the 6R140 torque shift transmission. Uh, this is used in the 6.7 liter uh, power stroke equipped Ford applications. Um, this particular transmission is essentially the architecture transmission is based off the 6HP series transmission, which is a ZF uh, design transmission, uh, also known as the 6R, 6R60, 6R80, different variants of that transmission has been used in the F-150s, Mustangs, and a variety of different Ford applications, also BMW applications, Jaguar applications. So the 6R140 is, for all intents and purposes, a scaled up version of the 6HP ZF transmission. So <clears throat> you can see even similarities. So here's uh, the input drum and overdrive housing. Uh, and uh, so this drum has basically uh, your front over, you know, your front planetary carrier ring gear on it. And uh, these transmissions, uh, this particular drum on Audi applications and Ford applications is very prone for cracking in here. And it creates a hydraulic leak and essentially damages the clutch components that go on the other side. So with this particular transmission uh this has a three piece you know you have your ring gear then you have your clutch housing here and then you have the shaft that's attached well the problem is your weak link is here so because of that uh it's very similar actually you know you have a very very uh minimal surface area that's actually connecting uh, these two components and when people get aggressive with tuning and stuff like that with these transmissions they can make a tremendous amount of power uh very similar <laughs> to the failures that take place this is a 5R110 coast clutch assembly and these transmission, you know, these coast clutches uh, are very prone for failing in the same way. You can see that this is even worse in terms of the cross-sectional area of how much, how much of the material actually is attached to the other component because the welding process is probably a friction weld. So you have very, very little connecting this inner hub and this outer uh, clutch uh, housing here. So anyway, uh, what we did instead of just putting a new one in, uh, we wound up taking it and actually increasing the amount of weld uh in we welded this side which if you look at this stock one that's just not welded on this side it's actually welded from the bottom side from the factory so we weld that and we also weld <coughs> the two uh the two halves together which is your clutch housing half and then also the ring gear half because you can see and i don't know how well this will show up on the video but the weld that is there from the factory is very, very, very small. So not a whole lot connecting those two pieces. Again, may work fine for a stock application, but as soon as you start to lean on it, that's when uh, things go south and this sort of failure can take place just because of the limited torsional capacity of the connection between the shaft and this housing. So <clears throat> if you look, we have a, a 68 RFE transmission. This particular transmission is in the diesel the diesel Dodge applications. And you can see just the difference in the size of the two transmissions. The 6R140 is a much bigger transmission. Uh, the components in the transmission are much more, uh, you know, much more robust. Uh, here's, a, <coughs> here's an example of a failure that is actually fairly common on the uh, 68 RFE. This is the input shaft. You can see that the input shaft actually just twisted off. Uh, so we wound up acquiring a input shaft, a 300M input shaft that's actually uh, made of a far better material. Uh, and uh, they say it's a Nymark material. So <clears throat> unfortunately, when you have dimensional limitations, all you can do is use uh, better components, better metallurgy, better alloy, and hope to increase the torsional capacity of the components. Um, you know, but you're looking when you're limited by size. Uh, <clears throat> just to get a point of reference comparison here, you can see that this uh, the size of the shaft on the uh, Ford transmission is a bit bigger, a bit you know larger diameter. So uh, if I had my choice, I actually own a, a Dodge with a 6.7 and a 68 RFE. If I could put the 6R140 transmission in it, I probably would. You can see by the size, the drums and the clutch components are very large. All the hubs, is, hubs are large. The pump is very well built, very robust. So uh, all in all, uh, this, this modification we made to this drum should be, you know, obviously this is the Achilles heel. This is the weak link for the transmission. So anytime we see something like this, if we can upgrade it with using a better, better material, better shaft, we do it. 
uh, all of these things. The world of high performance is not a cheap world. You know, one of these shafts is, you know, seven, eight hundred dollars. Uh, and then, uh, but this shaft, you know, this transmission was done before. And when it was done, the owner said that it was done before. Uh, I, it may have been done a few times, but this shaft was supposed to be an upgraded shaft. Personally, I, I, I don't think it is, but, you know, I don't want to, I can't, I don't have any way to do metallurgical testing to determine whether this is a better shaft or not. So, uh, but the failure is pretty evident that uh, it definitely, uh, you know, was power related. So, uh, anytime we have a transmission, it has some upgrade capacity we see a point of failure we're going to try to do the upgrades we can and that way we can try to keep them out of the shop